Hi, and welcome to Nuclear Dawn Help 103. This is going to be part two from the Empire's perspective. So to start off, our strategy is going to be like this. As you can see, I am the Empire. Uh, as I pointed out for, this is our weak spot, that roof uh, right up there. That's where I like to play uh, Consortium to come up on the roof and take, a, uh, take out Empire. But from Empire, we're gonna start right there, build another uh, relay tower and come out right about this area here. We're gonna to try to put a forward spawn there. This will help our guys out to try to take primary in the beginning of the map. And we're going to put another relay tower right about there. And also try to put another forward spawn right there. Uh, reason being is you want your guys to be able to spawn right here and just run into the door and get right into the action. This will help give us the advantage in taking primary in the beginning part of the game. Now Empire is actually a lot faster than Consortium at building out to primary so this should not be a problem again uh, this is a spot right here you could probably build some power structures in here uh, I normally don't do that because they could try to come behind and destroy structures when you moved out but we're gonna come along this hallway once again just like I did in the previous nuclear dawn help 103 We're going to build right about here, and then of course we're going to build some more uh, relay towers, extend the power up along this ledge, probably put another power, uh, power station here, some supplies, a forward spawn, and as you can see there's a really good uh, vantage point right here for Exos to start taking out buildings or any wireless repeaters that are out in the middle. Also I'm going to demonstrate here, eventually we're going to get some wireless repeaters to put a signal to go over this building I'm crawling here and go over the parking garage. Oh, looks like I can't jump over there very effectively. Alright, now we we'll, should be able to get a wireless repeater in the corner and it should be able to get us some, uh, some more supplies, another forward spawn on top of this garage. Again, as you can see the view is excellent. Uh, Exos can take out a lot of structures. They can also come down to this second level on the parking garage and pop off structures as well. Now I started off doing um, field tactics right away. I researched that first, then I started building immediately. Just like I said, you see here I started doing siege right away or at least working on siege by building the armory and just like I pointed out earlier on the ground we'll build another wireless repeater right about there this is about as far as it'll go after that I build the forward spawn then I try to get another wireless repeater right about there you notice where it gets a good angle so we can uh, help them get another relay tower built right about there this is as close as I can get it, as you can see. Couldn't get it any farther behind the wall. Now, once that wireless repeater is done, I proceeded to build some supplies for the men. And uh, as you can see here, I actually didn't build a power supply earlier on, so I'm actually a little bit behind. Research the siege kits, it'll allow them to pop off any structures. And here's some supplies and a forest bomb. They're gonna need it. Alright, now that that's going and my guys are trying to capture a primary, I'm gonna build out the left side of the map. Notice I kind of put this relay tower 
just a little bit, just slightly behind that secondary. This is to kind of give some temporary cover, just in case they discover you're moving up this, the left side. Again, uh, Empire is super fast at building up the left side. They have their structures take almost a third less time to build. I'm going to build some independent power here. This is so that way if they cut off my power in the back, I'll still have this power structure up on the front. Put that relay tower right there. That should give plenty enough range to build a relay tower on the roof, as you can see right here. Now next I'm going to build some double redundancy. You want to have more than one relay tower. There's a, there's a turret there to try to help protect the power structure. And the reason why I put a couple relay towers is, is if they discover what I'm doing before I actually finish reinforcing this area, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble. And there I built some supplies for the men. The XLs are going to be really hungry for ammo. My guard started uh, spawning right there. That's it. Just put one relay tower in the corner and it has enough range to get to the top of the parking garage. Cover the parking garage with a maybe one turret and some supplies and get a forward spawn up there immediately. Once your guys are able to get on top of that parking garage, it's instant popping off everything off of the, off of the ground. Here I built another turret on the other side just in case someone comes out to try to take out my power. Because I'm really dependent on that one little power structure. I built another turret right there. And of course, since they have wireless repeaters, they're able to uh, build structures in the parking garage too. So you'll notice I have several wireless repeaters on the garage. You gotta have more than one when they discover you're on top of there. And uh, after a little bit of a struggle, we eventually did get the parking garage back. I later built another power structure and as you can see uh, you need to start building a couple relay towers again build two or three of them so that way if they pop off one you'll have a spare uh, then you can start building on the next roof here I needed some more power so I just want to show you that I built it everything's getting constructed pretty quickly I built another forward spawn a second relay tower right there just in case another forward spawn right there and of course everything's I guess pretty self-explanatory. Just continue to keep building out, keep building. Uh, actually, I spent more time building forward spawns and supply stations than actual turrets. Uh, they seem to really take the turrets down pretty quickly. Uh, turrets are a lot more expensive. You could build, you know, three or four relay towers in the same uh, cost it takes you to build one turret. So, see, I put a turret, just one turret, right there at that one time because we pretty much had them pushed into the corner. And that's pretty much it. Well, I hope that this strategy works for you guys. Comment, like, subscribe. Thank you.